take out your notes and just write down six very simple tips the first one is make it a habit fasting is not occasional make it a habit what we encourage is once a month take three days first week of three days just take the time to fast if you're working on a heavy job and it's construction you say I'm not able to do it do something that is like fasting whether you do a little bit less or you you cut something out but make it a habit number two take it slow if you've never fasted going on a seven day fast is not wise if you a young child you know it's better to maybe go just 24 hours without food or go without other things but do not throw yourself into something that you are gonna get burned by because you don't have no experience in it number three drink a lot of water the more you drink when people go into fasting and they drink coffee this is what happens after a few days your stomach goes to sleep the more you put milk and other things into your stomach you keep waking up your stomach and then your stomach keeps throwing you a fit your stomach will give you a fit for a few days unless you keep waking him up through the liquids that you drink the best thing to do is you drink water flush out flushes out your system and it keeps your stomach asleep and your spirit awake number four you feed your spirit if you do not during fasting listen to sermons and spend more time in God it's actually starvation it's a diet my best thing to do when I fast is that to to listen to teachings on fasting like Shepard Bashir's, Jensen Franklin's, uh, Derek Prince and there's many many others because when you listen to for example if you're fasting and you're listening on business you're like man what am I doing here that guy went in and found another guy and he got a breakthrough in the business and here I am starving and so you're gonna feel like this starvation is not working if you're gonna listen on marriage you're gonna be discouraged in your fasting but when you listen on fasting while you're fasting it energizes you it's like man what I'm doing is good God's gonna reward me as he rewarded that man of God he's gonna bless me as well number five try different fasts in January you know we're hoping to do a 21 day fast as a church where a few days you will do just completely uh, just on water and the rest of it on the Daniel's fast and so that we will present different options don't just think I can't go without food I'm not gonna try this whole idea you're still a disciple of Jesus and Jesus says not if you fast but when you fast that means it has to be part of your routine and number six how you enter and how you end matters meaning if you decide to fast tomorrow for example if you didn't fast this month and you're saying you know what Vlad I'm encouraged tomorrow I'm gonna start fasting do not eat enchiladas at 11 50 p.m today you wanted to end very light dinner and you want to enter in so that you don't fill yourself when I was younger and a little bit unwise I remember we declared a 21 day fast and uh, right at 11 40 I quickly got in the car, ran to the gas station, ate the hot dog because I knew that for next 21 days I won't see food and so and that was very unwise. How you exit fasting actually will reveal how much fruit of self-control you currently have. Because typically when you leave the fast you're like yes I'm gonna eat a little bit of soup and then you just go at it. You're like for all those 20 days or three days I didn't eat I'm just gonna reward myself your immune system gets rebooted during fasting if you start stuffing yourself with the same kind of food out of control you will go back to the same unhealthy body that you had before um, the Holy Spirit is actually at the end of your fast begins to speak to you um, this week uh, I had a chance to fast and so end, uh, ended it a week of fast uh, yesterday and, uh, and my mom sent this picture of uh, that she made the cinnamon rolls and so my fast was already over and and I kind of made a decision I'm gonna tone down on this and this and that and and I was like that's it you know less this less this I'm gonna just kind of maintain health and and so I was like okay I'm gonna go to my mom's house one cinnamon roll and so but you know you're sitting there you're talking you're like man I didn't eat for a whole week with <laughs> one cinnamon roll I mean two is not gonna hurt and I remember second cinnamon roll and then I hear the Holy Spirit it's very still and small I said lad stop and I was like you don't care about cinnamon rolls you only care about my righteousness and holiness but see he cares about self-control and self-control is developed with cinnamon rolls <laughs> and after sixth cinnamon roll I was like okay this is not good I'm driving home and I remember I'm driving home and uh, and I hear the Holy Spirit convict me so Vlad you just lost it today and I was like I didn't do anything he says this the fruit of self-control was lost when the fourth cinnamon has entered your body <laughs> be careful how you end the fast amen and seven 
Always consult your doctor if you have illnesses or other troubles in your body.